welcome back to the channel today we're working on that sonata right here we'll show you guys how to replace the, the phone brake pads how we usually replace them you need to jack up the car guys get a, get a jack stand something something to support the car. and we're going to take the tire off now the wheel uh, we will demonstrate Alright guys, we're demonstrating on the driver's side, but uh, it should be about the same for the passenger side as well. Uh, we want to see how, what the brake pads look like on that thing and uh, if they need to be replaced. So we'll just take them off and uh, see how they are and show you how to replace them. We don't have them today, so we'll be installing the old ones most likely, but uh, uh, it will be the same procedure even if you're installing new ones. At least you have an idea how to do it. Um, save you some some time guys to figure it out and uh, or go to to a place where they'll charge a ridiculous amount of money you need to go inside now and uh, you will need to turn the steering wheel all the way to the left now okay so we will need to put the key in actually to the right on this one okay i'm gonna go ahead and start it because of the power steering pump okay just like that okay that's good now and uh, what we're going to do we can access the brake caliper now uh, when you install new brakes they'll be bigger than the old ones so uh, we will need to compress the piston here so you can borrow a tool you can buy a tool that will uh, compress the piston for you they're not very expensive but uh, we usually can do it with a screwdriver Okay, if you get in the right place uh, between the disc and the caliper, you will be able to compress them. Okay, once we find the sweet spot, okay, like that, a little bit there, uh, you, you will gain and then uh, once you get the screwdriver in, you'll be able to do it. Okay, we got it a little bit now, I think. Okay, and once you get them between both, okay, you can see how easy it is to compress it. Okay, we need to gain quite a bit because uh, the new parts will be bigger and that should be enough compressed all the way in now. And you can see guys on the back, those will be the two bolts that we will be uh, removing right here. The one on top and the one on bottom as well. We recommend getting the compressing tool. It's uh, way better to use it if you can, but you can do it by hand too. 14 millimeter wrench now and we're going to take those off those are the ones holding the caliper okay and those glides there you can check them for dirt and rust and uh, you can lubricate them apply a little bit of grease okay bottom bolt is almost out now not very long and now the i mean the top one and now the bottom one and uh, you need to get a wire or a heavy duty zip tie guys once you remove the brake caliper you will need to tie it for the suspension somewhere so it's not hanging on the brake line because if it does if it does guys it will uh, uh, you might damage the brake line and uh, that's not good I mean you don't want to lose your brakes and we almost dropped it here now Okay, tight good. And we'll just get it in the spring right there now and tie it right there. Okay, like that. Yep, look at that spider. I don't know what it is, but it doesn't look good. It has black, black with red dots on the belly. If you have an idea, let us know what that is. Okay guys, and we're ready to remove the parts. You just slide them out. We will recommend getting the one with the shimmers and stuff. Okay, you can see uh, the outside is not bad, but the inside is it's pretty much done. You can see it's almost all the way. So definitely we will need to <coughs> will need to be replaced. Okay, like that. Oh, okay, guys, we went to the parts store. They don't have them in stock, so we'll have to put it together the way it is and uh, do the procedure again. But uh, I thought it's the same way you install new ones, like old ones. You just make sure that the piston is compressed all the way in. Otherwise, you won't be able to place the uh, brake caliper on top. 
we recommend buying the one with the shimmers, the new shimmers and uh, also it's recommended to turn the brake roller, you can take it to the parts store, it's about 12 dollars, 10 12 dollars to turn it, cut it, make it super smooth and nice, so if it's shiny you might have vibrations, we have a video about that on our channel, so uh, when you get the new ones, you just push them in, okay, like that, and the one right there as well, uh, the inside and the outside are different, so don't confuse those and uh, the new shimmer sometimes they come with uh, with brake grease as well so just get the whole kit it's recommended it's better okay and now we're going to get the caliper place it on top and after we place it on top we just need to install the two bolts now okay the one on the bottom right here and the one on top as well and if those are spinning, uh, you can hold it here with a wrench on the inside because sometimes they will. And stay with us guys, there is something that you need to do okay, before, before you proceed uh, to driving the car because otherwise you might, you might wreck it. So, okay, let's see what, what the wrench is that one, that's an 18. Okay, I was able to hold it with the 17 a little bit here. So get those two tight, good tight, and uh, don't make sure you don't break them. You can find the torque specs usually on the auto parts uh, website. Okay guys, and now we go inside and you need to press the brake pedal a couple times to get that play out of the caliper. Okay, you can see until it starts catching, because otherwise, if you start the car, put it in drive the first so many times you hit the brake pedals, five to ten times, probably even more you will not have brakes, so pump it quite a bit, make sure you get the play out of it, install the tire, and uh, this will be all guys, so thank you for watching, hopefully the video was helpful, many more coming as well, check out World Mechanics, we have amazing builds there.